Her victory was short-lived however as a mechanical tendril came out from the building and wrapped around her, pinning her arms at her sides. Babbage rose from the building and began retracting the tendril he'd sent out. Riva fought against her bonds, but was unsuccessful. Just as she started to fear the worst a blast of white energy came from above and melted through the tendril, allowing Riva to regain her mobility. You okay? Sue called out to her teammate. Riva nodded and sent another blast of electricity to Babbage's chest. The blast was not enough to keep him down, as he rose and hurled a car-sized chunk of concrete at the cybernetic defender, she only had a split second to think of all she'd done to help the city before the projectile smashed into her, killing her instantly. Sue flew upward and away from the carnage, she saw Final Flame laying beaten and bloody on a nearby rooftop, surrounded by a dozen or so clockwork minions, that were blasting her lifeless body with bolts of electricity. So much for safety in numbers. Harriet thought as she neared the carnage. Jemima looked up at her, let me go, she said. Harriet shook her head, not a chance, she replied, and took them up higher into the air. So, my prize creation was destroyed, and my plot was foiled by someone that you were supposed to have killed anyway, the clockwork king said to Rick Davies. Rick cowered before his metallic taskmaster. I'm sorry that I failed you my master, it won't happen again, he said, and wiped the sweat from his brow. The clockwork king hung his head for a moment, that's true, he said, and grabbed Rick by the neck and picked him up, you won't fail me ever again, he said, and squeezed the man's fragile neck and popped his head off like a cork from a wine bottle. Letting the lifeless body drop to the floor the clockwork king turned and looked at the monitor behind him which was displaying a picture of Half-Life Harriet and Wonder Wet Lynn. One down, best to take care of the other, he said, and set to work laying out a plan to destroy Jemima and the people of Paragon City.